Good morning, folks. This is old Jeff coming to you from Big Daddy Store. Uh, just come in, just come in from waking up the roosters. Yeah, you always wonder who woke up the roosters with. Old Jeff woke up the roosters. Got a little story to tell you about a rocking chair. Rocking chair, yes, sir, a rocking chair. Up the Triplet, Virginia. Uh, come to come to beat it, Big Mama. You know, uh, Miss Bessie Clare. She uh, seen this old Kennedy rocking chair, and uh, and she told Big Daddy, she said, "That's a mighty fine sitting chair. Mighty fine sitting chair." You know, I sure would like to have one of them. So anyway, old Big Daddy, uh, he uh, he borrowed this rocking chair. And he took it down to the cabinet shop, and which I always called it the cabinet shop. You know, he made a little bit of everything in there. It could have been a bed shop, could have been a table shop, could have been a grandfather clock shop. I always called it the cabinet shop. But anyway, he took this old rocket chair down there, and he took it apart. And he commenced to build one just like it. Now, it was a little bit bigger. You know, a little bit wider. The wood was a little bit thicker because you know how that store bought stuff is. But uh, anyway, he fixed that chair and he took it and get Miss Bessie uh, or Big Grandma to move to me anyway. And she loved that chair. The only thing he didn't have on it that that old kid in the rocking chair had on it was the presidential emblem. Now, Big Daddy was like that. He uh. He made it. He made tables for folks. He fixed tables. Somebody's leg break off the table. Make it grand. Big Daddy. Big Daddy fix it. You know, uh, he was like that. You know, uh, he built. Uh, he built three grandfather clocks. He got the matter of fact. I still got the paperwork. You know, the original. You know, diagrams and stuff. You know how how to make it and all. In the bottom of the grandfather's clock, I got here at the house that he made for Daddy. Well, actually, him and Daddy made mine. Well, got to back up a little bit because him and Daddy made them three clocks. But uh, anyway, this thing is about seven foot tall. And uh, they bought the works. They ordered the works from Germany. You know, with the highest thing on it and all this. And, I mean, uh, made out of cedar. Beautiful clock. I mean, it is a beautiful clock. You know, uh, you know, so grandfather clocks, uh, rocking chairs, tables, the bed I sleep on. There's a cannonball bed that, uh, that Big Daddy turned on the lathe and the stuff there in the shop. Uh, the desk that I'm sitting at right now, uh, Daddy, Granddad, the Big Daddy made from, uh, you know, right there in the shop, that would have old black snake, you know, black snake looking on. But, you know, these things, you know, they're, they're precious memories. And I mean they're precious memories. And I experienced them. I was there. You know, it was a little big thing. Because, well, I didn't say little, little, you know, I was 9, 10 years old, 11 years old, whatever, you know, as I was growing up. You know, uh, I like I say, like I told you before, every time, you know, daddy would want to go go up the country, he'd always ask me if I wanted to go, and I always wanted to go up the country, always, you know, because uh, when you drop down and go across that little creek down there in the bottom, and start up that road, and you got that canopy of trees, and this is, this is cool up under there, and you come out the trees, and there's Uncle Atkins' house, and, you know, uh, Uncle Glenn, and going around the curve there where, where Bullet the Pony was at, and, if you turn back to the right, back there in the middle of that curve, you go after the path, you go on down past the, the graveyard, the Indian graveyard. I was, I've got a big story to tell y'all about that. And you come up on, you know, you know, Big Daddy's store, and the house, and going past Roy Chambers and so far, and uh, going up with the right store, you know. But, you know, these stories about that part of the country, you know, they need to be told. Because uh, I imagine Uncle Buddy and Uncle Pete and the rest all up there, you know, probably had times when they just, man, I got to get away from here, you know. But uh, I think now they really, 
really believe which Uncle Buddy rest his soul, you know. He he made boats and boats and stuff for the for the uh, walking trail down here, you know, uh, side the mill. There's there's so many things that if they go untold and everybody dies and don't nobody tell the story, you know, all these memories and stuff is gonna die with them. You know, I encourage you, you know, sit down and cut your little thing on like I got right here and just just start talking. That's all you gotta do, just start talking. You'd be amazed at how natural something is just gonna come on out. And uh, and folks is gonna thank you for it. You know, it might be after you're gone, you know. Some of this stuff right here, you know, uh, I hope my kids and I hope my grand and I hope my great grand you know, uh, and then on down will uh, we'll appreciate this stuff one of these days. And, I'm planning on taking me a trip back up the country here for a long time. And I uh, want to go out there to the old family graveyard and see the footstones that I made. This, that's another story. I made old Nate Hyde, you know, the man dressed in black, as I heard, you know, with his black buggy and his black long coat and his black suit and his black hat. Man dressed in black. Never met the man, but heard a lot of stories about him. You know, so, so again, the same thing, you know, passing them stories along. But anyway, I don't waste enough of y'all's time this morning. You know, I got the roosters woke up. I got to get the store woke up. Well, I got to get the store woke up now. You know, uh, I got to get the checkerboard ready, get the coffee going. You know, or somebody might stop by. You know, can't ever tell. You know, somebody be coming on in here. Old George or even old Bailey, Mr. Bailey, he'll be on in here for long. Sit down, you know, we won't play some checkers. We just want to talk about whatever happened last night. But anyway, as always, I hope you have a blessed day. And you ain't got to go home, but you got to go away from here. You come back to see us, maybe, here. This is old Jeff from Big Daddy's Store.